Hello, this is Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, and today we are doing a solo PBI fighter challenge. Because this is a solo run, the first thing that we need to do is get rid of our pawn. Bye, have a great time. With this done, let's go over a few things. I was initially thinking to do a solo mage playthrough. However, I was very delighted that the fighter run was actually suggested by a lovely gentleman by the name of George Orellana. I hope I pronounce your name correctly. If not, please forgive me. So George, thanks very much for your suggestion. Without further ado, well, let's go and do it. Let's start with covering the rules very quick. As previously, we will be using the same rules as Rubicant used for his challenge. However, we're gonna amend them a little to make things a little bit more difficult. So, rule number one, must go to BBI as soon as it is possible. Rule number two, once you enter BBI, you can't leave until it's completed. Rule number three, no pawns except in a few places where the game forces you to use them. Rule number four, normal difficulty. Rule number five, minimal HUD. In rule number six, uh, Rubicant allows to use other base vocations and get their augments however we will be changing this rule slightly so we are staying pure fighters no other skills no other augments i also added two additional rules rule number seven no level grinding we are allowed to kill every enemy only once so we are not using any zone response the exception here are non-hostile creatures like rabbits or deers and spiders and snakes mainly because they give us discipline points which we need in order to buy skills and finally rule number eight we are using only starting gear and armor we are not allowed to use any dlc items or gear that's not from bbi Okay, so now with the rules out of the way, we can talk a little bit about the build. There is nothing complicated about it really, however, I did a little bit of research. And what we are going for is iframes. So, as you can see, I've listed sword skills and shield skills that I will be going for and especially the compass slash and legion's bite which will give us sweet sweet iframes i also found a sword and a shield which we can pick up very early to help us get our build into the full swing or at least strong enough so we are ready to face the dangers of bbi as I'm sure you can see, at this stage I still have a minimap on, however, um, I am turning it off now. So technically the run is invalid, however, I don't want to, you know, redo the whole thing, especially that, you know, the minimap is not really that useful at this stage. The progression through this zone is very linear, so uh, I think you can live with this. Now we can go to the actual meat of the run. So now we are fighting Chimera on two times speed. There is a way to skip this fight. You can actually get killed by Chimera and this progresses the game. Fighting in the previous rooms, I felt a little bit rusty, so I took this opportunity to practice my skills a little and especially parrying with the shield. Thank you. 
Nice. Now let's get into the proper game. Now we create and name our character and then we're gonna get our ass kicked by a dragon. Of course, after waking up without heart, we are going to pick our vocation. In this case, it is no brainer. We are going for a fighter. We are very quickly going to talk with Kina and then we are out of here. Our next stop is Pablo's Inn where we will do a little bit of inventory, take the things that we want, leave the things that we don't want and move on from there. Hmm? Thank you, great. What can I do you for? I changed our armor to one piece outfit. I don't think it's good, however, it is lighter. So after picking up Rook, I tried to kill him. However, I don't think it's possible. He actually have to stay with you. So um, I guess we are having him for the foreseeable future. As you can see, we are skipping our friend Reinhardt, we are not even helping him, and we are running straight to the encampment. My consciousness fades. Encampment is always the standard business, so we are going to run in, have a chat with the stone, and then go and kill the beast. My consciousness fades. The beast come. Once we are out, I'm going straight for the Cyclops. I try to avoid goblins as much as possible. However, my main priority is to not be as rock is the moment. Dead. My 
consciousness fades. At the end, I had to take out the goblins as well. Uh, the guards didn't want to cooperate very much. As you can see, there was one strolling casually over there. Rook achieved the mastery in stating of the obvious. My consciousness fades. So the Cyclops is dead I and I decided to pick up Rook considering that we will be going straight to BBI after that. Let us go and give word of it. Set out from here and we'll be on the path to Grand Soren. After talking to the stone again, we are going to create our pawn. In this case, we are not going to use him. Nice. After this touching cutscene, we have mandatory skipping of the optional training. What I'm also doing is I'm discarding a Mithridate that I picked up in Kina's house, just so that we don't bring anything outside of BBI into the BBI. From here, what we have left is only a mud dash back to Casartis and then spend the night in the inn, then have a chat with Orla and basically go to BBI. Endeavor to be ever calm in battle. Bide your time, then strike. The roads are safer than the brush, but still we'd best stay wary. We share these roads with traveling peddlers, guardsmen, and other folk. It will be easier going searching this area. Now. Business is better caught. What can I do you for? You seem tired, cousin. So be. Seems a fair place to rest. Quite tidy, this room. 
any boats. Just as you'd expect. A fine spot to fish, no doubt. Take care at the water's edge, master. Guess who's going for a swim. What a gap. Take care, you aren't soaked in water. I was clumsy. You, you can see me. Then you, I have, you have my, you speak. I would take you there now. Is that the fate you've chosen of your own will? You are arisen. We stand now on Bitter Black Isle, far as sea from the cove we departed. I would ask you to explore its depths. So that's gonna be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.